we're back. And for this, we are back. And for those of you scoring at home, keep it down, honey, we're doing a show here. But seriously. <laughs> the score is Shakespeare four, World War II two, Insane Italians one. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I was talking about you, Roberto. You were just so happy. Don't do it, baby. Don't get up. <laughs> Stay right there, honey. Hello, Principessa. <laughs> bella, bella. I live with an Italian man. That's why I know these words. <laughs> bella. Anyway. <laughs> it's time for the Visual Effects Award. And <laughs> Sometimes it gets so good to you, you got to do it a second time. And to present it, a man who has always had a visual effect on me and millions of others, <laughs> nominated for an Oscar for his performance in Schindler's List. His face, I have a feeling a lot of people will be looking at on movie screens this summer because the force is with him. And so am I. <laughs> Honey, Mr. Liam Neeson. Good evening. In the Hollywood Dictionary, there is no such word as impossible. If a writer's mind can conceive anything, it can be realized by the wizards who produce the movie's visual effects. The three films nominated by their peers for best achievement in visual effects are. In Armageddon, nominees Richard R. Hoover, Pat McClung, and John Frazier combined computer graphics with a high-speed explosion to simulate the destruction of Paris when a fictitious asteroid hits Earth. Rick Becker, Hoyt Yatman, Alan Hall, and Jim Mitchell who used millions of digital hairs to bring a 15-foot ape to life in Mighty Joe Young. When skillfully blended with live action, the computer-generated Joe has figured out one solution to annoying car alarms. Joel Hynek, Nicholas Brooks, Stuart Robertson, and Kevin Mack conceived and created a visual afterlife in What Dreams May Come. The artisans utilized over 250,000 individual elements of computer graphics to transform them into an oil painting in motion. And the Oscar goes to Joel Hynek, Nicholas Brooks, Sir Robertson, Kevin Mack for What Dreams May Come. Joel Hynek previously received a Scientific and Engineering Award and was nominated for his work on Predator. This is the first Oscar for Nicholas Brooks, Stuart Robertson, and Kevin Mack. Woo! What dreams have come. We'd like to thank Vincent Ward for his amazing vision, Stephen Simon Barnett Bain for their faith, Ellen Summers, Eugenio Zanetti, all the folks at Interscope, and I'd like to thank my colleagues at Max Entertainment, and my wife, Robin, and kids, and Nick. Thank you for letting us make something beautiful and cruelty-free. And this one's for Mass Illusion to Pierre Jasmine, uh, Mike Schmidt, Donna Langston, and to Joshua Rosen. And this to my wife and my family. Thank you. Thanks to Mary, my family, Mike Joyce, Rocco Deacon, Yannick, Ken, Andrea Lawrence, and David Allen, Summers, and P.O.B. Films. Nick. I want to thank Scott Ross and all the wonderful folks at Digital Domain and my family. Love is groovy. Be positive. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Val Kilmer. Grandpa is so famous, they named the street after him. 
It's true, I grew up next to Roy Rogers Ranch out in Chatsworth, California. My daddy eventually bought it, so of course I grew up fascinated with the innocence and joy of the great matinee movie, Cowboy. <laughs> Debbie Allen didn't choreograph that part. <laughs> oh, all right. He's excited. Come here, boy. <laughs> Sadly, both Roy and Gene Autry passed on last year, so I hope you enjoy this affectionate tribute to the Western high ideals that graced the silver screen for nearly a hundred years. It sparked our dreams of American adventure. Trigger, man. Here, let's say happy trails to you. Ready? Come on. Happy trails to you. Happy trails, Roy.